because I want to tell y'all what got me fucked up. Are we so starved for plus size representation and plus size visibility that we're willing to have like any motherfucking bitch just like stand up and talk about fat acceptance, fat positivity? Like, are we really there where we just don't really care about who the fuck is out here talking about what the fuck is the tea? Because I'm really feeling some type of way. Like, I'm not even on some, like, it's past exposing. It's like, bitch, you're already out here. So I just want to fucking read this bitch down, okay? Like, my main, main thing about this is, if you're going to sit here and sell high-ass motherfucking t-shirts for $40, $35 to $40, whatever the fuck you spent, bitch, and you're saying... I'm donating my money, I'm donating the proceeds or the profits, whichever one, bitch, it doesn't really matter, but whether or not you say you're donating from the profits or the proceeds, and see, that's the thing, somebody was saying proceeds means off the top, meaning even if you don't make profit, you still gotta donate, and other folks are saying no, and whatever the fuck, but basically, if I'm over here trying to sell you something, and you're like, girl, this price is high, and I'm like, well, girl, I'm donating some of this money, so I'm over here putting that into my overhead, then you know what I mean? Maybe we won't have a back and forth. Maybe you'll just, you know, realize that where I'm coming from, which seemingly is a good place, and let that be. But if I'm over here telling you that I'm charging you $40 for something that's clearly like $10 to make, maybe $5 to send, and, you know, you're telling me, girl, it's high, and I'm telling you, girl, it's for charity, and then we find out that you don't use all this money to go flying around and join your fucking times in life, and you never really gave any money to any charity, and you never even really gave a bunch of fucking people, enough to start a group, any fucking merchandise that you were selling to help this fucking charity, which you never fucking helped. It makes no fucking sense. Not to mention from a business sta standpoint, you would never sell something, and like you wouldn't sell something for $40 and only get eight back. That makes no sense. Four times what you're making is going to shipping and paying for what exactly there's no breakdown so i feel like it's one of those things where for us to just now find out through her raggly ass apology that there was a loss in the company and no shade but how do you have a loss in the company here's my real tea how do you have a loss in the company four different fucking times because you had four different t-shirt sh sales boo not to mention now redress is selling your clothes so that means you must be doing something right for a company to ask you to partner with them so that they can sell your fucking shirts and what the fuck kind of company is redress if these have been issues going on for over a year over two years some people going on three years not getting merchandise how do you get involved with redress and that hasn't come to light until just the fuck now and i have to say it's nothing but whiteness all these women in this group are scrambling around talking about the media change.org petition and i have to sit here and wonder why nobody's gone head to head to make a fucking video and just say hey tess we see you like you stealing you obviously a fucking fraud there, there's none of that going on and I feel like even the first video I made I was just trying to rehash what the fuck went down I wasn't even trying to go in on her because the reality is this if a nigga goes in and a nigga gives information in the same motherfucking video we're not gonna really get the message are we we're gonna be too caught up in oh don't talk about her oh don't snatch her so hard oh don't drag her down the street that's what it's gonna be about but if I like I st strategically did, made a video w which was palatable to all the white folks that didn't want to snatch her but wanted someone to stick her ass out there. And that's the, that's the, the disconnect that I'm getting because anybody else, anybody else who is on Tumblr, who is on Facebook, who is on whatever the fuck, uh, whoever lo low level grassroots ass modeling, whoever's on that fucking level and gets to rise to the top needs to be held the fuck accountable. That's just point blank fucking period. If I'm over here robbing folks, I expect to be held accountable. It shouldn't be, oh, we are rooting for you so hard, like we loved you, how could... Fuck that shit. Because the reality is, if, I'm, if you love me so fucking much, then love sometimes hurts. Sometimes love is the truth. And the truth is, the bitch has been stealing and nobody's fucking clocking it. And it's one of those things where I'm sitting here kind of like, well, what's, what's the tea then? You know, why is nobody clocking it? And I just have to say that I think clout is like what fucks up the fat community. Like, that's what it comes down to. I think that more than anything else, more than the fat bashing, the shadiness, the fucking language of in-betweeny, curvy, plus-size, obese, 
all those things. I think what's worse is the fact that like when people are wrong, we can't just be like, folks is wrong. We have to conflict the fact that they're pretty, that they're visible, that they have coins, that they, you know what I mean? All these things, all these privileges we have to hold, we have to take into account and we're kind of like, why? You know what I mean? That's where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out why the fuck Test Monster gets no accountability. Why she used to be in a secret group talking about, yes, I did rob y'all. No, I did not send any coins to where the fuck I said I was sending the coins that you paid for because you were told by me that I was sending coins of a certain nature to a certain fucking uh, national coalition of domestic uh, violence. So it's kind of just like, girl... You know what I mean? It's like, how, how do you say randomly that what you've been saying is a bullshit and you don't address that? Like, in the whole apology, Tess is talking about, oh, well, my company was at a, uh, my company was at a loss. Like, l last year I did all the books and, girl, we didn't make not one coin. That can't be the fucking case. You don't sell a $40 t-shirt. You don't sell hundreds of, thir thir uh, you don't sell hundreds of $40 t-shirts. To not make no coin, girl. That's why they're 40 the fuck dollars. You are caught up in your coin. So, you have to be. You have, like, think about, think, even towards t-shirts don't be $40, y'all. Come on now. And you think Tori about to put out a fucking $18 t-shirt and still have no idea how much money they're about to get off this? Hell no. So, again, you want to sit here and say your company, your business, your collective because that's what she's saying. She's also saying that F Your Beauty Standards is not a company. And that's another way that niggas be out here being tricky and sneaky and slick the fuck. Because if it was a company if she really had to register, get a business, social security number, go through all the shit to get the coin you feel me? Like if, if, if you really had to do all the steps to be a business maybe this wouldn't have happened but because you're over here saying you're a collective and your best friend and your baby ass son helped you package fucking uh, items then how is it that your overhead was so large? I know you're not paying your son coins okay? You got free child labor and then you got your friend over here helping you out who all of a sudden don't got internet no more. Got into a car accident and don't got internet no more. So that's why Jolene ain't there no more. Okay. Natalie over there doing a clothing line. What's happening? You know what I mean? It's kind of just like being in that group kind of has me fucked up. Because I'm sitting here in the back like. You know what I mean? It was just weird to see all these white people just so angry that they got robbed. But this fucking quick bitch. Like, just right back on her fucking dick. Like, oh my god, Tess, I can't believe you're in the group. The group that we started because you robbed us. Girl, we love you. Girl, we know that you didn't mean no harm. Exactly, VLM 2011, exactly. If it were your black ass or my black ass, we would get snatched the fuck. And the worst part about it is, who are we, bitch? Um, Tess Holiday changed her name from Tess Mustard to Tess Holiday because she got married to a nigga named Nick Holiday, which I think is funny because that's her stage name. So, bitch, why are you going to change the last name of your stage name and that's your real name? But, okay, girl, I see you. Um, but as I said in the other video, by the time she finally, like, decided to respond to people because she had been responding with, everything's taken care of. Like, there's so many screenshots of her being like, you're lying, everything's taken care of, I have a business, I have a, this, this is an email where you can email people, and there's people with screenshots of emails that they sent that never got responded to, canned responses where it was obvious that nobody was there checking the emails but you were just getting an automatic response because you happened to email that email so it just had me sitting here like how is that the case it's just very strange to me and again this could not be a person of color it couldn't have been because I feel like you have to be a certain level of shysty and feeling protected to do some shit like that because in one of the open letters I read it was kind of fat phobic that's why I'm not going to share it um but and, and that's the other thing just because you fat don't mean you can't be fat phobic like can we clock that fucking tea like I get it like if I say I'm a fat bitch and you call me a fat bitch you can still be derogatory while I'm being liber like liberatory like I can still be feeling liberated by calling myself a big fat bitch but you calling me a big fat bitch don't mean that that identity is protected in your mouth from your lips to my ears so um as I said there was a fat white woman who wrote a fucking critique of her and fucking body shamed her 
and in the same breath talking about something, I'm a size 28, and I was like, kind of like, girl, you know what I mean? I might have been able to help you out and put out your words, but I'm not going to put out your words and be like, oh, PSPS, PS, this bitch is a body shamer. You know what I mean? I'm not doing all that. Um, you feel me? A dress, a dress for $40, and I got to be a fly dress bitch. That shit got to come with a petticoat or a motherfucking a train, like $40. Huh. Oh. But anyways. The shit is just increasingly more angry now because, as I tried to explain, one of the white people has been coaching Tess and telling her not to answer questions that anybody has because every time she does, it makes Tess angrier. Which annoys the fuck out of everybody in the group because everyone's like, bitch, we want her to say what the fuck is real. And if that means she's going to incriminate herself, then that means that she's a fucking criminal. And you shouldn't be trying to fucking hold her back from telling us the fucking tea. And that's like where I'm coming from really with this whole fucking video, which is test stop lying and stop hiding. Make a video. Cry if you need to, bitch. Cry if you need to, but be honest and be real about where the coins went because when niggas is checking your Instagram and niggas are clocking all of your social media, it's really looking like you're living fucking lavish. So how the fuck is you living lavish, but you steady telling folks that shipping and all this shit is coming out of your own pocket, but you just sold 100 or 100, uh, 150, 200, 300 shirts? Girl, come on now. Like, it's basic math, baby. Like, there's no way that you didn't make that coin. So, when I see you getting your hair and, hair and nails done, you also have to think about the fact that it's like, the plus size scene is like this fucking big, right? You either getting paid to be a model, or you getting clothes to be a model. And with all the clothes this bitch is selling, it's very clear to me that not everybody paying coin. Some people paying in fabric. But, the gag is this. If you are over here selling clothes you got from a photo shoot for free, why the fuck are you upselling that shit to your fans, my nigga? Like, that shit looks mad fucking, a little dirt dirt. Like, that looks dusty as the fuck. Honestly. So, I don't know. It's just, like, wild to me. It's like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I'll buy me something from the thrift store. I might, I might upsell it for like maybe five, six, seven dollars on top of shipping. But that's so I can get my little coin. That's not so I can be sitting up here taking a picture about a fucking pool with a fucking Mai Tai talking about, you know what I mean? And not even send that shit to you. That's the gag. You going to over here upcharge somebody a hundred motherfucking percent. And you're not even going to send the fucking item? And it's one of those things where I will recognize that, like, having a platform, it can be draining. It can be overwhelming. Sometimes people are hitting you up, and you start to notice it's the same motherfuckers hitting you up, perhaps. And maybe they're hitting you up about something that's not that deep. Maybe they're hitting you up about something from a while ago. You know what I mean? You have the right and you have the autonomy to not have to answer every single fucking person. But when you're blocking and deleting people who's just simply looking for their items that they purchased from you, that starts to look a little bit raggedy. That starts to look a little bit, or a lot of bit, actually, like fucking fraud, girl. And it's one of those things where, even in this call out, as hard as I'm going on you, bitch, I'm really not. Because at the end of the fucking day... I really just don't see it for you. Like, I just don't see you being real with yours. Like, I see you just trying to give everybody their refund, trying to send everybody their fucking uh, merchandise. But I don't really see you ever going on testholiday.com and being like, by the way, like, le the last three years have been a whirlwind between robbing niggas and uh, not delivering shit. It's just been a bunch of shit going on in my life. You know what I mean? I don't see that happening. I don't see you owning up to the fact that you robbing folks. But... I guess, like, all folks can really do is just talk about your ass. You know what I mean? Like, that's all the catharsis that it's going to be. And I feel like that's, like, the shadiest part about that group that I'm involved in. Because people just going in and reading her the filth is getting deleted and blocked and stuff. Because they're still trying to keep it, like, seemingly no toxicity, no negative energy. And it's kind of just, like, the fact of the matter is, if I got robbed and I'm in a fucking Facebook group trying to get my coin... And you come into the group under another name, bitch. I'm dragging you. Just off the fact that I feel like you tried to trick me. So when folks tried to drag her for coming in and talking about, my name is Ryan Megan. Really? You, 
you're gonna delete and block folks off that shit when they didn't know who you were and they're gonna have everybody else and their mom in the next hour I know Ryan Ryan is really test like I've known her for 15 years well bitch 15 of them fucking years you could have been asking her when the fuck the, the shit from three years ago was really it's all these people talking about we know that this is test this is the real test Tess is my friend she's so nice it's like it's what does that have what does niceness have to do with getting robbed you can get robbed by somebody who's kind you could get robbed by somebody who exhibits uh, humanity. You could get robbed by a lot of fucking people over a lot of fucking silly shit. But I just think the shadiest part is to try to make a t-shirt talking about F your beauty standards when here's the gag, bitch. You're not really effing any beauty standard by being fat, straight as fuck, conventionally attractive, like fucking western ass like you just a fat bitch that's the only difference between you and a model on the runway right now bitch is you just a fat bitch that's it you you not really knocking any other standard of beauty other than thinness and i'm not trying to say that that's not important but i'm trying to say girl you the fool for these fucking shirts because you got all these white bitches wearing these shirts and i'm sitting here like bitch wear like you still in the beauty standard girl that's how you're a model come on queen but you know what I mean? Whatever. It's just one of those things that irks me because it's like there's so many fat bitches in the community right now who got views, followerships, all this and that, clout up the ass. But when it comes down to really saying like this shit is fucked up or this company is shady, it just always seems like I'm steady the one by myself being like, why the fuck is everything so like fucked up like this? Like, and I'm the only one that'll say this shit. And it's fucking annoying as hell. Like really. Like I want to expose again. Okay. Can I expose again? Can I expose again? Because I'm, I'm trying to expose right now. Because I'm sick of this shit. I'm so sick of this fucking shit. And it's one of the reasons why I don't super fuck with the plus size community like that. And by say, when I say plus size community, I mean folks that be sitting here talking about some. I'm fat and, you know, that's it. That's my identity. Full stop. Like, I'm a fat bitch and all I'm going to do is talk about fat bitch politics. Because a lot of times, it's fat white bitches talking about whiteness and... Fat white bitches feeling some type of way because they are not fitting in with a standard of beauty that they almost all fit into. So you feel me? Anyways though, um, here's the tea that I wanted to clock though. So a couple months ago, I happened to be in a group. It's a private group so I can't say the name. But I was in a group with somebody, right? And, like, tell me if I'm wrong, though. I want y'all to tell me the fuck if I'm wrong. Because y'all know I love y'all. And I know if you love somebody, y'all say y'all love me. If you say you love me, tell me the fucking truth. If I'm being petty, if I'm being shady, then that's what the fuck it is. Feel the way you feel. Please tell me the fucking truth. Because that's why the fuck I come to y'all to talk. So, I'm in this group, right? And all of a sudden, niggas start talking about... Do I, like, this one person in particular, I'm not going to name no names, because, again, I'm not trying to be messy, and if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. This person going to talk about, pause real quick, backstory. This group is centered around women of color who are oversized 22, I believe, or oversized 20. Not 100% sure, but I know it's for, like, fat ass of bitches of color, you feel me, or, or femme-identified people of color. So I'm in this group and this one person, I'm going to say person L, person L uh, pops up out of nowhere telling folks that there's drama going on with this thing called CurvyCon. Now, if you live in New York, you're on the East Coast, maybe you know about CurvyCon. I didn't know shit about it because I don't, again, I don't really peep shit like that. So, anyways, I find out that there's drama at Kirby Con. So, I take my black ass on over to Google, and I Google the fucking, I Google Kirby Con just trying to catch the tea. So, I find out that Kirby Con is basically being put on by a bunch of white folk. Plus, size designer is going to be there. Plus, size model is going to be there. It's just a, a place where, like, fat bitches can pay money to meet fat bitches that they've been seeing online. And it was based in New York. And, um... When I found out what the drama was being referred to, uh, it was re being referred to the YouTuber King Lily. Alright, I'm going to say this name because I can say that shit. Uh, so King Lily is a YouTuber. Um, her name is L Lily Sweets, I want to say. Lily Sweets on YouTube. And she's Trinidadian from New York. 
Um, I recently had an issue with her, honestly, because she started saying some transphobic shit, and I was trying to get her to explain that, like, the ways in which black women have to have to deal with transphobia is very congruent to ways in which trans women have to go through transphobia. And I'm not saying, like, it's congruent 100%. I'm just saying that, like, black women do face, uh, black cis women do face transphobia, and I'm not trying to say that should take over all conversations over transphobia, but in the case where she was going hard for Serena, talking about people calling her a man and shit, she was, she was like bashing fucking Caitlyn Jenner and I thought that was really fucked up that we have to take one trans person and use it to kind of invalidate another person. Um, and she was really not feeling me and that really hurt my feelings because again, I'm a trans person, I'm non-binary and I just feel like the ways in which people have invalidated my own gender um, identity and the ways that I used to see gender for my own self, I felt like it was constantly negated just off the fact that I was a bigger, a, a big and fat. Like I was tall and fat. I have a deep voice. There are a lot of things that people clocked masculine about me that were things that I didn't necessarily see as masculine, but it was seen, it has been a pejorative um, in my experience um, through girlhood. So I feel like in ways my beef was more about her trying to sit here and say that like transphobic, like she was, she was uh, calling out transphobia while being transphobic. So that's why me and her really ain't really on and popping right now. But I will say this, when Lily got kicked out of fucking CurvyCon, I immediately hit her up because we was Facebook friends and I was like, girl, what is the tea? Like, do you need people to help you snatch? And she was just like, I want to make a video so bad. I was like, girl, you need to make a video because she had made like 45 Instagram videos and they were really incoherent because an Instagram video only 15 seconds. So you're going to make 25 and 15 second jaunts. It's going to be hard to kind of keep up with everything. So I told her, I was like, girl, you need to make a concise video. You need to tell the fucking tea, go in and let the fuck have. And she was like, I was going to do that, but I felt like people would think I was lying. And I was like, fuck the rest. I was like, if they feeling like you lying, bitch, then fuck them. Because, like, they're not really here to hold you down anyways. So she was like, thank you for reaching out. She's like, I'm going to make a video ASAP, da, da, da. So, person, as I told you, person L was the person who told me what was going on with King Lily. And how she wasn't really able, how she was kicked out. They literally sent this bitch a refund of her ticket. And then she had to figure out, like, by emailing and talking to them, why she wasn't being, uh, why she wasn't allowed to go. And she was actually supposed to, she was, she was just going just to go. I don't even think she was a, anyone in, in particularly in particularly important in terms of being a part of it. She was just like, she had just bought a ticket to go. Now, when they responded, the people, the orchestrators, directors of CurvyCon responded to her. They said it was because she was spreading negativity. And one of the things that I clocked before they had done all this was that she was talking a lot about the fact that she was the only dark-skinned woman of color who was supposed to be there. Um, and actually, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, she might have been on a panel. She might have been asked to be on a panel. But apparently, after she was asking pretty vocally in an Instagram video why it was that she was the only dark-skinned woman of color um, from, you know, not from America, like, on this panel, seemingly they were feeling like that was negativity that she was trying to bring to the shit. And so I'm over here mad as the fuck for her because I'm like, girl, that's fucking shade. Like, how are they going to give you back your coins? And then she told me that they didn't even give her all her coins because you know how PayPal be taking a little portion. So she was like, yeah, when they resended me the money, I didn't even get all my money back. I was like, bitch, that is the fucking shade. They are the fool for that shit. So I was mad as fuck and I was pretty much just going in on the thread that person I would put being like, this is so shady. Like, we need to help her, like, you know, go hard and reach out to folks and just go the fuck in. And it just seemed kind of like folks were like angry, but folks weren't really about that like, let's go in, let's snatch wigs. It just seemed like it was kind of just like a little kiki, like people were just like, oh my god, look at all this shade. So after reaching out to Lily, I was waiting for that fucking video because I was about to send that shit around town. Her name is Lily Sweets or King Lily. She's King Lily on Facebook. I could actually, in the social stream, I'm going to post a link to her, like, to her shit. Because I don't hate her, you know what I mean? I just think that she's one of those folks who just don't really understand, like, like transphobia and the broadness of it. Because, like, you could sit here and be like, I'm a fat woman and I go hard for fat women. But there does come a point where you could just be on some bullshit. Like, it, it doesn't even only matter. Like, you could, you could stand up. 
for black women to still fuck up. You know what I mean? You can still be kind of oppressive, even though you're standing up for people who are who are are consistently and systemically oppressed. Um, but let me pop this into the social stream. All right. So I just shared a link. I'm not gonna do that. Where? So I just put it in the social stream for y'all. VLM 2001 of oh, 2011. I was gonna say this, but I got caught up. But really though, Gabe Sidibe like definitely does does have less ca social capital than Melissa McCarthy. And I feel like it's very clear in how the fuck Melissa McCarthy is able to go from movie to TV effortlessly. That bitch has no problems. Okay, they got her on magazine covers repeatedly. All right, and Gabby's been uh on Empire and I have yet to see her again on the motherfucking cover. I'm telling you, when they did that port line for Torin for Gabaret, I feel like that was the beginning of the end. I was like, girl, they about to give you these clothes and then we not gonna see your ass the fuck again. Like I feel I feel like Torin views Gabe uh, uh Gabe Sidibe, um excuse me, Gabare Sidibe when uh Precious and Shit came out because they really did sell a bunch of ugly ass shit in size five no shade but like it was some like the the port line that they made for gab for gab yeah for gab race of the bay that shit was kind of <sighs> underwhelming and scraggly but that's just me you know that's just how i feel anyways though um getting back to the tea right so lily never makes the video you feel me and i'm not even mad about that but what did irk me a little bit was the fact that literally like a day later, she's popping off talking about some, I'm one of the keynote speakers for uh, for Fat Fashion Week. And I was just kind of just sitting here like, how sway? Like, how you go from about to be on a panel to getting fucking kicked off the panel to you about to be at a whole nother thing fucking doing a keynote speak. No speech, no tea, and no shade. But I was like, what is this? I was like, what kind of fuckery is this? If I could just be on my fucking Amy Winehouse. I was like, what kind of fuckery is this? Because I'm sitting here like there ain't no video and this bitch just got promoted. What the fuck just went down in Clown Town? You feel me? So, bitch, if you don't know the tea, I hit up Lily. I was like, girl, why didn't you make the video? This bitch was talking about I haven't had any time. Bitch, you're still not a video. So I was like, all right, girl. I was like, well, just so you know, I support you, girl. You know what I mean? And again, I support autonomy. Her not wanting to make the video didn't fuck me up. I was just kind of like, damn, like, you know, I'm just, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for y'all, okay? I'm waiting for y'all to, the clapback crew. When y'all get sick of this bullshit, let me know so we could go in on it. But I wasn't mad. I was just kind of just like, all right, bitch, like, enjoy your winnings. You know what I mean? For not telling. So anyways my shit okay so anyway so person L in the group go fucking talk about not even gonna fucking talk about person L bitch why would I go on Facebook this bitch is at CurvyCon hugged up chilling taking pics like it's all gravy I'm sitting here like bitch didn't you post a thread talking about did you hear the drama at Kirby Con? did you hear that they kicked out this black woman for being too real all this and that and the fucking third and bitch didn't even have the fucking the realness to be like I went to that shit or even in the like here's my thing I was like bitch you could have said in the thread where you said did you hear about the drama that you volunteered to go you could have just said that shit loud and the fuck clear but she never did. The bitch over here let everybody drag the fuck out of CurvyCon. And then we see pictures of her online kicking it, chilling. And so me and a couple bitches in the group was feeling some type of fucking way. Because we were kind of just like, girl, when we was going in on the bitches from uh, CurvyCon, weren't you in there kicking, bro? Like, why wouldn't you say you was about to be there, bitch? So, of course. You know what I mean? My nosy ass. I'm trying to get the tea. Like, I'm trying to figure out why we the last to know. Don't let me be the last to know. Okay? Why were we the last to fuck to know? 
again, this is a group of full of like big fat ass, brown, black, you know, folks of color who's just out here trying to, you know, catch the tea but also share some tea. And I feel like for, for the most part, the group was really cool because like it was folks, some folks I knew, some folks I didn't know, but folks knew of each other. So I feel like it was always, you know, kind of friendly, kind of familial in ways. But bitch, tell me why though. When I asked this bitch, I was like, I was like, did I miss something? I was like, why was this bitch at KirbyCon? Why was this bitch kikiing and chilling with everybody at KirbyCon, but in the same like moment, you over here exposing the fuck out of them for being fucking racist? And it's something that I feel awkward about saying because, again, I feel like it's one of those things where it's kind of taboo. But I felt kind of like in that moment when I was calling this person out, it became a situation where folks tried to like invalidate my blackness and my fatness in the same motherfucking comment, trying to let me know how hard it is for black women in, fashion, in the fashion industry and how um, I'm, I'm kind of taking shit personally and how I'm feeling some type of way because I must be jealous or whatever the fuck. And I'm sitting here like, I'm jealous because somebody who's in our small ass little the fuck group brought up some drama and was at the shit. What? And then like for them to try to tell me how hard it is for fat women to get into fashion, I'm sitting here like, bitch, who got blacklisted for talking about their blackness? Like, bitch, who got fucking told by, like, I'm not even going to say no names, but I got told by somebody who's uber famous in the fat community talking about, I need to change my politics if I'm trying to be famous. And I'm like, bitch, I'm not trying to be famous. <laughs> I do not want fame if that means I got to be blind, bitch. I'm not that person. That's not for me. So... It's like for, for me to know for a fucking fact that for you to be mingling with all these folks means you gotta be quiet. Have me fucked up. Cause we in this group together and ain't nobody in that group quiet. We all saying how the fuck we feeling. So it's like I felt like in that moment you should have been like, I'm going to this fucked up ass event. Not on some shit where it's like, oh, like y'all really didn't want me to go to this event and miss my opportunities. Like this bitch made it seem like her going to Kirby Con like literally set her ass up for the future. Like, she literally good now. Now she don't even got to worry about the niggas in that group because huh, she got community elsewhere, girl. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was feeling fucked up about that shit. Folks were trying to make me out to be like some jealous, bitter-ass bitch. But it's like, honestly, it's frustrating. It's frustrating waiting for niggas to wake up. And that's what I feel like is happening a lot in the plus-size community. Folks want to talk about being fat, but folks don't want to talk about being fat and being white. They don't. They do not want to talk about being fat and being light-skinned. And that's what I do. I talk about being a light-skinned fat person, having privileges. Um, obviously, like, privilege doesn't mean your life is perfect, but it does mean that things are kind of shifted for you a little bit in the ways that you see shit and the way that people interact with you. So by me exposing myself and being real about my privileges, I've seemingly alienated niggas that don't want to fucking talk about that shit. They want to pretend like you too can be a fat, famous bitch um, if only you had that bitch face, that bitch hair, that bitch clothes, that bitch wallet. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like it just became a game to see who could afford ASOS the fastest, who could fuck with a, a fat designer and get the flyest piece and get a coupon code. And I'm not trying to knock nobody hustle. I think if people are looking up to you as a tastemaker ass fat bitch. Shout out to you, that's awesome. But I'm not going to sit up here and act like I want so badly to be visible more so than I want to be saying some real shit. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to be just a pretty face that's quiet and try to sell you some shit. That was never my vibe. So I feel like in ways, when that whole shit went down, it's like there's a little ass group of some local ass niggas. And I just watched as when I finally called out this black cis woman... All these other black cis women popped off on me, trying to make me feel bad, trying to make me feel like I was being fucked up, like I was trying to block her blessing, like her fucking with these white racist people was a blessing, and I'm over here exposing her, and I'm like, girl, is it an exposal, or do you feel exposed? Like, did I expose you, or do you feel exposed? Do you feel me? 
Because all I said was what everybody was fucking thinking because I asked folks. I was like, that's weird, right? And folks were like, yes, bitch, that's weird. But as soon as, as soon as, you know what I mean? Other black cis women started coming for me. That's when I noticed like folks are trying to tell me I'm not black enough or some shit like that to understand the struggle. And I'm not trying to say that L being a, a darker skinned black woman doesn't mean we have differing experiences with anti-blackness or our white centered society. But at the same time, to try to make me feel fucked up for me asking you why the fuck you fucking with these hoes you was just shitting on with us. And to have folks back you up and try to say that it's so hard to be black and fat in the plus size community and try to make me feel like I'm not fat or black is kind of like, really y'all? Like, that's how y'all gonna come at me. It's like, it was as if I was like a white person trying to be like, why did you fuck with this opportunity that you're trying to make seem like a big ass opportunity? Granted, you being a fat, attractive person of color going to a convention and getting discovered, I'm sure that's a lot of bitches' dreams. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to say I don't see it for person L, but I'm just trying to say, why make this shit so damn deep? Cause all I had to do was ask why the fuck you fucking with some folks. Like, here's my thing. If I say I don't fuck with Torrid, Torrid is racist. If I said this, which I didn't, and which I'm not sure, I can't really say this or not. But if I were to say all those things, and then you see me the next goddamn day at a Torrid event, smiling, all hugged up with the logo, you would be like, that bitch whack for that. Cause why would you sit up here and bash somebody and not say you affiliated? That's weird. And I'm, I'm like, for a second, I was sitting here like, wait, am I being light skin right now? Like, am I being OD, like, centering of self? And it's like, no. I'm just trying to figure out how you could be in the group with a bunch of black women of color, excuse me, with a bunch of fat women of color and try and pretend like you went there for anything other than yourself and not to say that I thought was shady. Because it's like, if, if I did that shit, if I really did that shit and I was like, this is the only way I'm going to be able to put food on my table, I would say that shit. But we know that's not the fucking case for you. So that's why I was kind of just like, huh? And then I was also kind of just like, why Curvy Con so damn shady? Like, it also, like, I'm not even trying to put it all on personnel because the reality is a lot of organizations, a, a lot of organizations are shady. A lot of organizations are not out here and are not here for you as a black cis woman. Um, with that all being said though, like, are we so invested in capitalism that we can't call folks out? Cause I find that shit like real. Like I feel like for every time I've tried to tell a black a black cis woman that like she had fucked up or something like that, and not even on some you fucked up, just on some hey girl, like just so you know, like za za za. You know what I mean? If, if I come at you like that and you're like coming at me like it's some deep ass beef, bitch, stop trying to fucking derail and keep that shit big. And like it just kind of irked the fuck out of me because like. It's like when I asked this bitch, she had just gone through so, a situation where someone sexually assaulted her in a subway and then was like, I just got sexually assaulted. I can't talk to you right now. And I'm sitting here like, okay, girl, like no one's, again, if you feel exposed, don't take this shit as an exposal because no one's exposing you. I'm asking a question based on the facts presented that everybody can fucking see. Everybody's seeing you at Kirby Con. Everybody's seeing your post. So what the fuck? It's just like, it's petty as the fuck, but it makes me feel some type of way because it's like, now there's like a weirdness in the group and I'm just kind of like, okay, like feeling like folks are just like not fucking with the group because this person left because they played their fucking self. Again, I would never go into a group and be like, oh, like look at what this group did to another black cis woman and then be going to that shit like everything's gravy and wavy because it's not. But again... When I said that shit, bitches were like, do you think you're better than other people because you don't have to make decisions like that? And it's like, there's a lot of decisions I can and cannot make. And I feel like, in my opinion, I've made the right decision a lot of times. Such as when folks tried to get me to do mad weight loss fucking uh, product placement. And I'm sitting here like, girl, you know about the Photoshop my pics and make it seem like I done drink some Kool-Aid so that I can lose weight, so I can lie to all these fucking people that fuck with me that are fat and perhaps are in a place where they're like waiting for somebody fat to be like, bitch, that's how I lost weight. Because I know myself, I've, I've had that feeling where I see other fat folks and they'll lose weight and I'll just feel fucked up inside. Like, I'll just be like, what did you do? Like, 
what did you accomplish? Like, wh how did you get to the size? Like, and not in a negative way, in a way that's kind of like fucked up towards myself, because I'll just be like, damn, like, I'm a fat ass bitch, like, you were fat as me, and now you're not fat no more, and then start to feel kind of like, man, is weight loss easier than I'm thinking? And like, like, almost undoing all of my thought processes, thought processes, thought process behind my confidence and just my anti-fat phobia and so it's one of those things where it's like I feel like I could never and I would never but I could never pretend like I lost weight or pretend like I used some sort of product to lose weight and even if I do lose weight it would never be on some shit where I'm like trying to lose weight and I'm trying to you know what I mean like I'm I'm trying to be on that life path like that's just not where I'm at and I know that in the past like I have been on some like quote unquote get healthy shit but the reality is I don't fucking care about whether or not you think I'm healthy or whether or not I'm appearing to be healthy to you because all that matters to me is that I'm flawless to me and that I'm perfect to me and that I'm sickening to me that's what matters so I just try to keep that shit in my head but it's like so many times people have asked me to do a lot of things that conflict with my beliefs and conflict with what the fuck I've been saying to folks and I'm like, how did you even find my email, bitch? Like, people be finding my email talking about something. Would you please uh, take a picture with our weight loss uh, supplement and we'll send you some coin? And I'm like, no, thank you. People have stolen pictures of me just to promote weight loss products. I didn't get no coin off that because I'm not affiliated with that shit. And it's like, I get that it's not fun to alienate yourself from a community that seemingly is, a comp is comprised of people that look like yourself. But my thing about the fat, the, about the plus size community is, I can't sit here and pretend for nobody. So if Curvy Con had been available in my town, in my city, and they would have been trying to get me to volunteer, I would have thought about volunteering. I would have been snatching back my volunteering information because I would have been like, no, thank you, ma'am. I'm Gucci. But I don't know, folks want to make shit seem like it's deeper than that, but it's really not. It's like you can stand for some shit. It's not going to feel good when you don't see yourself getting noticed by whoever the fuck, taking selfies with whoever the fuck. But the reality is, you'll know that you didn't compromise yourself for a coin. It's like I would rather be broke the fuck, houseless, than sit up here and lie to y'all and tell y'all that I lost weight doing this or fucking with people that's fraudulent as fuck just for the cosign. It's not worth it. And that's all to go full circle back to redress. I don't know why y'all are fucking with Tess. It's weird. It's like everything I've ever heard about redress has been positive. The fact that y'all working with Tess now, it seems kind of suspect as fuck considering not one coin, not one doubloon, not one fucking shilling if you use those denominations of coin. Um, went to what she said it was supposed to go to and instead all we have are the photo evidence of her living a very lavish lifestyle of her being able to go every goddamn week or, or every other week and retouch that red hair girl like bitch I'm not seeing a fucking root and you know you're on top of that shit but it, it, it begs the question where did all the coins go and that's not being answered and folks want to act like it's because they're telling Tess not to answer things but I think it's more so that she said all, she said enough in her mind probably. She probably feels like I told these motherfuckers enough. Like they know that I didn't make no money from those shirts and they know I didn't d d donate none of that money neither. So that's all the fuck they need to know. And they can run with that however the fuck they want. And meanwhile, bitches is running to the media talking about I'm trying to talk to the media. I'm going to the states to talk to the media. And it's like, fuck the media. Hit up redress. Let them know that you don't fucking support them fucking with Tess. And that, sh that she shouldn't be selling things anymore. And that them taking over her business is just going to fuck them up. Because the reality is this. If you have thousands, hundreds, millions of followers. And 200 of them don't get their coin. And you clearly don't care. You know what I mean? It just, it just looks really fucked up and it's just 
wild to me that any other plus size entity selling anything would fuck with her off the basis that she got a secret group full of 200 something people talking about they don't have their fucking merchandise or if they do have it they just the fuck got it after how many years or months of waiting and I feel like that's something that we shouldn't be overlooking and I feel like also for her to accrue a loss and then for her to have to resend all these new shirts it's kind of like where's that money coming from the pre-sale you just did bitch come on now be real it's just like, it's just too many fat bitches out here that's educated and that have sent shit in the mail to know when they got played. And I just think it's just a show of how much we prioritize how beautiful someone is and how photogenic someone is over how actually good of a person this person is. Because a good person isn't going to tell you your package is coming in a week. And then three the fuck months later, you got to harass them. And then they want to call you a fat shamer. And not necessarily that you fat shamed anybody that you decided, yo, you a fat liar, bitch. You a big fat liar. Like she really was talking about some people's body shaming her off of calling her a big fat liar. When I think big fat liar is a phrase. And if you lie enough, you can be a big fat liar. You don't necessarily need to be a big fat bitch. But you are. So it probably feels extra shady, bitch. But that's not fat shame. So it's just like everything's being conflated as hate. Everything's being confl everything is being conflated as jealousy. She over here on Twitter talking about some jealousy doesn't look good on people. Girl, who is jealous? Who is jealous? Who is jealous? I just want to know, honestly, because if someone's calling you out for snatching and stealing and mopping. What jealousy comes out of that? You know what I mean? In none of my videos have I said that this bitch needs to be taken down. But at this point, I feel like, what the fuck is taken down? She needs to just not have any businesses. That's what it needs to be. If you can't fulfill orders for three years, bitch, you don't need to be selling shit. You don't. You really the fuck don't. If you didn't have the coin, the capital, or the, or the fucking resources to send shit before you really could, you shouldn't have been. And I just feel like it's more small white business bullshit under the guise of a collective that just didn't send folks their money and literally the employees change every fucking day. The three people that was helping folks in the group, they don't even exist no more. It's all new folks in the group now talking about, can you send me an email? So it's just like... It's just irking the fuck out of me because I really do feel like there's just not a lot of accountability here. And I don't give a fuck if you're annoyed at me talking about Tess Holiday robbing folks. Like, that's how I fucking feel. And that's what the fuck is the truth. And I think that more importantly than me trying to say folks are jealous, you need to be trying to say folks are fucking factual. And I need to get my shit to the fuck together. You know? Like, people are, like, I think, like, this is still enough, yet another chance for her to be decent. And she's just not taking it, sis. Like, she's just not here for that shit. She's just, like, letting white bitches tell her when to speak and when not to speak, thinking it's going to help her. But the reality is, you just look even more shady that you're seemingly taking direction from a bitch that started the group to tell you that she was not happy about getting robbed and that she was going to snatch all the other folks that got robbed and help them fucking find your ass and collect. It looks weird as the fuck. Okay? Just keeping it real with you. It looks weird as the fuck. And I'm just like waiting for like the, the test lovers to come all up in my shit and try to come for me. But the reality is if you get your package, girl, I'm happy for you. If you get your refund, girl, I'm happy for you. I'm not mad at anybody getting what the fuck they tried to get from that group. But I am mad at the fact that even though this group persistently and consistently is asking for accountability from her to... From her, you know, to go on her her personal profiles to talk to folks and say, hey, I fucked up. I don't think that that's like what's really about to go down. And I, I know I just said that, but I just really don't think that she's actually at a place with herself internally where she really feels empowered enough to do that shit. Because I think just her having, again, the group starter, originator, creator, and or rather now the person is a mod, for that person to be kind of like, you know, coaching you and giving you, like, the vetting one-on-one. 
the, not a good look. It doesn't look good. And quite honestly, it's played the fuck out. Folks have been trying to get in touch with you for three years, and now you're talking about, oh, well, J Jackie says not for me, for me to not respond to anybody because I'm making people angry. You're not making people angry. People are angry at the truth. But they're not angry that you're telling the truth. There's a big difference, boo. And I just feel like moving forward, I just want to see like less fat white representation. I want to see less fat white women, period, like trying to tell me that, you know what I mean, that they're selling a shirt and they're talking about F your beauty standards. Because, no. Mm-mm. That's, no. But anyways, that's enough tea, girl. I recorded this shit. Yes, God. I'm about to give y'all everything, okay? I'm going to see y'all. Thanks for watching me curl my hair, though. I appreciated that shit. I really did. Okay. And you're like, girl, this price is high. And I'm like, well, girl, I'm donating some of this money, so I'm over here putting that into my overhead. Then, you know what I mean? Maybe we won't have a back and forth. Maybe you'll just, you know, realize that where I'm coming from, which seemingly is a good place, and let that be. But if I'm over here telling you that I'm charging you $40 for something that's clearly like $10 to make, maybe $5 to send, and, you know, you're telling me, girl, it's high, and I'm telling you, girl, it's for charity, and then we find out that you done used all this money to go flying around and join your fucking times in life and you never really gave any money to any charity and you never even really gave a bunch of fucking people enough to start a group any fucking merchandise that you were selling to help this fucking charity which you never fucking helped. It makes no fucking sense. Not to mention from a business sta standpoint you would never sell something and like you wouldn't sell something for $40 and only get eight back. That makes no sense. Four times what you're making is going to shipping and paying for what exactly there's no breakdown so I feel like it's one of those things where for us to just now find out through her raggly ass apology that there was a loss in the company and no shade but how do you have a loss in the company here's my real tea how do you have a loss in the company four different fucking times because you had four different t-shirt sales boo not to mention now redress is selling your clothes so that means you must be doing something right for a company to ask you to partner with them so that they can sell your fucking shirts and what the fuck kind of company is redress if these have been issues going on for over a year over two years some people going on three years not getting merchandise how do you get involved with redress and that hasn't come to light until just the fuck now and I have to say it's nothing but whiteness all these women in this group are scrambling around talking about the media change.org petition and I have to sit here and wonder why nobody's gone head to head to make a fucking video and just say hey Tess we see you like you stealing you obviously a fucking fraud there, there's none of that going on and I feel like even the first video I made I was just trying to rehash what the fuck went down I wasn't even trying to go in on her because the reality is this if a nigga goes in and a nigga gives him cause I wanna tell y'all what got me fucked up are we so starved for plus size representation and plus size visibility that we're willing to have like any motherfucking bitch just like stand up and talk about fat acceptance, fat positivity, like are we really there where we just don't really care about who the fuck is out here talking about what the fuck is the tea because I'm really feeling some type of way, like I'm not even on some, like it's past exposing, it's like bitch you're already out here, so I just want to fucking read this bitch down, okay, like my main, main thing about this is if you're going to sit here and sell high ass motherfucking t-shirts, for forty fuck dollars, thirty five to forty dollars, whatever the fuck you spent, bitch. And you're saying I'm donating my money, I'm donating the proceeds or the profits, whichever one, bitch. It doesn't really matter, but whether or not you say you're donating from the profits or the proceeds, and see that's the thing. Somebody was saying proceeds means off the top, meaning even if you don't make profit, you still gotta donate. And other folks are saying no and whatever the fuck. But basically, if I'm over here trying to sell you something, information in the same motherfucking video, we're not going to really get the message, are we? We're going to be too caught up in, oh, don't talk about her. Oh, don't snatch her so hard. Oh, don't drag her down the street. That's what it's going to be about. But if I 
like I str strategically did, made a video w which was palatable to all the white folks that didn't want to snatch her, but wanted someone to stick her ass out there. And that's the that's the the disconnect that I'm getting because anybody else, anybody else who is on Tumblr, who is on Facebook, who is on whatever the fuck, uh, whoever lo low level grassroots ass modeling, whoever's on that fucking level and gets to rise to the top needs to be held the fuck accountable. That's just point blank fucking period. If I'm over here robbing folks, I expect to be held accountable. It shouldn't be, oh, we are rooting for you so hard, like we loved you, how could... Fuck that shit. Because the reality is, if, I'm, if you love me so fucking much, then love sometimes hurts. Sometimes love is the truth. And the truth is, the bitch has been stealing and nobody's fucking clocking it. And it's one of those things where I'm sitting here kind of like, well, what's, what's the tea then? You know, why is nobody clocking it? And I just have to say that I think clout is like what fucks up the fat community. Like, that's what it comes down to. I think that more than anything else, more than the fat bashing, the shadiness, the fucking language of in betweeny, curvy, plus size, obese, all those things. I think what's worse is the fact that, like, when people are wrong, we can't just be like, folks is wrong. We have to conflate the fact that they're pretty, that they're visible, that they have coins, that they, you know what I mean? All these things, all these privileges we have to hold, we have to take into account, and we're kind of like, why? You know what I mean? That's where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out why the fuck Test Monster gets no accountability. Why she gets to be in a secret group talking about, yes, I did rob y'all. No, I did not send any coins to where the fuck I said I was sending the coins that you paid for because you were told by me that I was sending coins of a certain nature to a certain fucking uh, national coalition of domestic uh, violence. So it's kind of just like, girl... You know what I mean? It's like, how, how do you say randomly that what you've been saying is a bullshit and you don't address that? Like, in the whole...